Let's talk about some harsh truths about being a full-time content creator and photographer. Find loyalty really is a fickle thing. You can do the most amazing job on a project and never work with that client again. Unfortunately, we live in a day and age where there's always something better around the next corner. This unfortunately does feed into how clients behave as well. They're constantly looking for the next best thing. So while you may do the most amazing job ever, in their mind, there may actually still be something better out there. You have to actually be okay with this. You see, the truth is, clients don't really care what camera you shoot on. All that they care about is that you can deliver what they're after. So don't get too caught up in what camera system you use. Make sure that you just know how to use your tool effectively. That's what she said. Find a camera system that works for you that really tailors to the kind of work that you do do. If you're doing a lot of print media, then you need a higher resolution camera system. If you're not doing so much print and most of it is digital, then just stick with something that does what you need it to do. Clients are really like going on dates. If you're desperate, they're gonna feel that. So when you're sitting there with a client, you rather wanna think, is this client right for me? Do I want to work with them to bring their project to life? Not the other way around where I need this work so badly, please give me a job, please give me a job. They're gonna feel that. And no one wants to work with someone that's really desperate. There is never any one big gig that makes your career. It's really just a combination of doing your best on a lot of little different jobs. And each of those then contribute to this pathway that you have of just building your career. But thinking that there's one job that's just gonna make or break your career, it's gonna land you that cover, which is gonna get propel you into fame and fortune, that doesn't exist. It's consistency. Those will then add up and those actually what become your portfolio and that's what people see. That's what makes you look like a rock star, not just getting it right once. So the truth is, if you love photography, you gotta love hard work as well. It's kind of like that iceberg analogy. At the tip of the iceberg, what everyone sees, that's the taking photos. Underneath that is hours of thankless work rafting lead into the night, packing heavy gear, unpacking gear, putting up, taking down, fixing, wiping. These are all the things that you actually really need to love doing as well because if you're just there for the taking photos, you're not going to love all of the process. So you need to love the hard work. I can't tell you how many times I've heard, your photos are amazing. You must have such an amazing camera. The reality is people are gonna assume that if your photos are anywhere decent, you must be using the most amazing expensive camera in the world. It's kind of like going to a restaurant and going, that meal was amazing. Tell me, you must have the best pans in the world. It's kind of the same thing, but you're gonna hear it over and over again. Another harsh truth is there's no real calling in sick. Rain or shine, you have to be on set. There's too many parts and factors involved for you to just be a very faintly 18th century aristocrat that just crumbles under the first slightest sniffle. So I think one of the hardest ones and harshest truths is that as a creator, you're gonna get asked to work for free all the time. And somehow we're still gonna pay our bills and pay rent and mortgage and car. The problem is clients don't always understand the investment factor that we've put into being able to do what we do. There's the financial implications of the assets that we buy to be able to create the content we create. There's also the time investment of learning how to really be proficient at what we do. This often doesn't get seen. And so often you'll find that people go, you know what, can you work for free? Well, there's many ways to handle this sort of thing. And one of my favorite ways is to just say, thank you so much for thinking about me, but I actually cannot take any projects that aren't remunerated. And thank you so much. But in future, if you ever do have some budgets to create some professional media, I'd be more than happy to help you out with that. You'll shoot way more content than you'll ever show anyone. Most of us have sort of consistent clients that we produce work for but it doesn't always mean that this is the work that we wanna show off, but this is totally okay. 
rather be able to pay your bills and keep yourself afloat, not every project is gonna be a portfolio worthy piece. You are a unique snowflake. And while you are, yes, uniquely you, there's so many other professional creatives that are vying for pretty much the same jobs. Now, instead of letting this get you down, rather view it as a way to really double down. So instead of being one in a million, rather choose a speciality and be one in a thousand. You're gonna probably burn out quite regularly. Being a one-man team, having to do everything yourself is extremely taxing. You need to be able to be in touch with yourself to know when you're reaching these limits. Find the gaps where you can take a break and take them because otherwise you're just gonna be running flat out. Today's digital world, pretty much everything you produce is gonna be seen on a device that's as big as your hand. Most of what you create is gonna be viewed really, really small. Your life as a professional photographer is going to swing between a feast or famine. There's very little guarantees in knowing what jobs we're gonna book. So we need to be okay and make peace with the fact that sometimes there's gonna be a lot of work and other times there's gonna be absolutely no work despite how many efforts we're putting into getting work in. Friends and family, they're gonna think you have this glamorous life because you have no boss, you don't have to wake up at a certain time, you don't have to get to the office. This is partly fueled by Hollywood that depicts us photographers as rock up on set, everything's set up, we take a few frames, shout marvelous darling and call it a wrap and that's the job. Unfortunately, this could not be further from reality. The real work is a lot harder. Remember I said you gotta fall in love with the hard work? That is part of that hard work. A like and a subscribe really helps this channel. I'm still starting out and I'm still finding my feet with this, but I really appreciate you coming along the ride with me. Let me know in the comments down below which of these resonated with you or maybe which one's even new. And share this with someone that's maybe said to you before, you know what? I'm jealous of what you do.